What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. So a lot of people asking me about this. If you missed my live stream, I actually covered a lot of these players that we are seeing here in the end season MVPs. So these are very similar to the players that they released a couple of months ago uh, with Declan Rice and that. And these are the end season. So instead of a mid season MVP or the most valuable player, these are the end season ones. Uh, European showdown to kick off season five, right? So Look, if you still are struggling to get like a nominating contract or understand how you get them or whatever, you can get one very, very easily with the match pass. So all you have to do is play or else sim 15 matches in the match pass and then you will get your free five star nominating contract as you see here. So literally just play or sim five match 15 matches to get your five star and you can get any of these players. So we're going to just give a quick run through of all the players and then I'm going to kind of recommend... Um, certain players to you obviously it depends on where you are in your eFootball journey I've said this before I'll say it again I know there's a lot of new people on the channel watching me and welcome in you know we have a lot of tutorials here and a lot of questions that you'll probably get answered especially in the live streams or in the videos if you go back through them but basically with the nominating contracts once you have your free five star you will have it in the top right hand corner there and you'll be able to get any of these so Silva, Caicedo, Watkins, uh, Pope, Concavs, Mendes, they're all five star. The rest are four star and then three star, right? Including Hatate and Guler. They're at the end, right? If I've butchered his name, I apologize, lads. He's only a 17 year old and he's a beast in the game, right? Now, look, if you are starting off, I would definitely recommend any of these three players. They're really, really good, solid players that you can build your squad around. They've got great team play style proficiency. They've got great player skills. You can see here with this guy, insane player skills. He's on B rating this week. Yeah, his appearance is a bit dodgy if you're looking to play with players that have real faces. He doesn't have that updated yet, but he is a monster. He is a monster. Now, right, I'm not going to spend too much time on these because you should be able to get three-star nominating contracts and have a few of them left around. If you've just played the game, you only have to play five matches in the match pass to get uh, your free three-star. So I definitely recommend, you know, picking between the two of these, depending on what kind of player you want. If you want a hard-working kind of uh, center midfielder, that's going to be more passing um, and or more running than passing, then I would go with Hatate, right? And the other, on the split, on the, the reverse side of it is that if you're looking for a very good, a classic attacking midfielder, classic number 10 with double touch, with one touch pass, with true passing, everything is perfect on this card. He's a he's an excellent starter player if you are not playing the game that long, you know? Um, so I definitely recommend the two of those uh, if you're looking, you know, if you have a couple of three stars, I have six three star nominating contracts. Um, so you can either hold them for future or else you can just get, you know, use them, right? I would definitely sign this guy. Even though I've got a lot of AMFs, I definitely think that I'm going to sign the two of these guys while we're doing this video. Um, you've got the nice card there as well. So there's that guy. I will be doing training guides on these two guys as well, but I definitely do recommend the two of them. So that's straight off the rip. Uh, we're going to just try and um, have the two of those that we're going to get, right? Otherwise, then, we have got this guy, Martinez. He's a very good centre-back. Very good centre-back. He can only play centre-back. But I sometimes like having players that you can kind of isolate exactly where they are going to be playing, right? Now, when we are going to go over here to eFootball DB, we're going to take a look at his stats when we simulate them, right? So he does have, as you see here, he does have 21 levels to go. And if we max out his defending, he does go into the 90s and the high 80s with his defensive stats. I would probably cap him at 90 and 90. And then I would put the rest, maybe 75 there. I would top up his stamina just a slight little bit. And then I'd probably pop one in for his jump there if you wanted to go that route. I think it's a very solid kind of starter team friendly uh, center back, right? So that is one option if you wanted to do that. I'm going onto the wrong screen. But that is one option that you have there. We also have Sanchez. We also have this guy. Um, two of these guys are pretty decent as well, but I wouldn't recommend this guy. I genuinely don't think, even though he's got unwavering form and as an orchestrator, he's got good stats, but they're just a dime a dozen, man. If you've got a four star, it is a fairly good pack that you could upgrade. I mean, he does have 26 levels, I suppose. So it's it wouldn't be the worst option if you were to get him. Um, but I just feel like a lot of these players, they kind of... They're such a dime a dozen that it isn't really worth you buying them. Like, in my opinion, you're better off going to buy players that you know are going to be there, um, you know, for the foreseeable future in your squad. Now, as I said, this guy does have good stats. I was a bit surprised actually just looking at him here in real time. 
He does have pretty decent stats if we were to take a look here, um, especially with his passing. You know, you go 85 and 85 with that. He has one touch pass. Maybe I've slept on this guy a little bit, lads. Maybe I have slept on him a little bit. Um, dexterity is quite good as well for an AMF, CMF. Um, you know, you're not going to be obviously looking to do anything really defensive here. So yeah, he's a pretty decent option for a four star as well. Um, if you wanted to get something there, I keep going to the wrong one. Um, my face is on the screen. <laughs> Sanchez you know what you're going to get in with Sanchez lads um he's kind of you know he's a little bit too slow for a center forward and a little bit too slow for a winger there's a lot of different players there he has deep line forward so that is a little bit of a concern if you're looking to play him anywhere but center forward you know because that won't kick in SS obviously as a deep line forward it just means he's going to come for the ball very very quickly and then we also have Pope who's just your standard goalkeeper I don't recommend him either even though he's got a couple of nice levels to go I don't recommend a keeper that doesn't have long throw. So that's the three of them. Um, now, moving on to these guys, just to go through very, very quickly, right? First up, we have our traditional winger. Every, every single time they bring out these kind of packs, they do bring out these kind of wingers that are able to just be, you know, very fast players, very mobile players. This guy doesn't have the blister and pace of some other uh, fellow wingers, but he does have good dribbling. I don't really rate him that highly um, because his dribbling and his acceleration don't go into the 90s. So he is down as a creative playmaker. You probably have to use him through the middle. That's kind of why he's lacking a lot of that pace. Um, but even at that, I mean, you know, if you take away his dexterity here and leave it at 80, you leave his stamina at 80, you don't need speed if you're playing him as an AMF. I still think that his, his passing is kind of weak. Now, the finishing is good. You could have 80 and 80, but the game doesn't really reward shooting from that advanced position. We also have Fafana. Now, Fafana is uh, part of the other pack He's not in this one. He is part of the match day. So that is just if you are looking on eFootball DB. Um, we will get a bit of uh, confusion with that. He's just thrown in with the end season MVPs. But he's part of the, the, the match pass. So he's not for the nominating contract. Okay. So when we are going to be taking a look at kind of an alternative to that central midfielder position, we have Caicedo, right? So this guy is on A form. I think if you do, if you don't have a legend or an epic center midfielder i would definitely recommend this guy lads he's absolutely insane stats you can see what he tracks up to here you know we put 15 into this we're going to have one of the most dominant um you know really high energy uh center midfielders in the game that's still pacey you know and he's still able to pass look he still has 84 low pass dribbling is a bit of a letdown if you wanted a more standard version of him you could go 90 aggression or 80 defensive awareness you could put the dribbling up a little bit as well to 80 you could put the passing up to 85 and then you could put the dexterity up a little bit if you wanted to have 75 offensive awareness and 80 defensive 90 stamina 80 balance 82 acceleration 91 aggression very 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 solid card we also have nuno mendez he goes to a whopping rating as well he's a really really good player i'm probably going to buy him on my live stream uh tomorrow so that's something to watch out for you have two options of training Nuno Mendes, lads. I would definitely recommend him have him as like a wing back. Um, not really defensive, but have him as a wing back with a really good engine and really good pace. 95 acceleration, absolutely insane. And then the rest of it, we can pop a bit onto the defending, but I wouldn't even bother pop anything but 70 to heckling on him. And then the rest I would pump in to get that lofted pass as high as you possibly can. Um, and that's kind of how I would balance him out there, you know um with the lofted pass the pinpoint crossing he does still have a couple of defensive stats that will track very very decently as well but i really like that card if you are looking for something different if you want to go a little bit more defensive of course you could do that as well to have him as a 94 defensive option if you wanted to go that route but he won't have the passing if you're looking for that and then i would say last but not least lads we do have pedro as our bernardo silva as well right so these guys you're always going to have um good options ollie watkins is there as well and Ollie Watkins on the surface, lads, he doesn't look like a great player as a goal poacher, right? But he does have some fairly nice um, player skills, heel trick, long range shooting and chop turn. And then when you pump up his shooting, if you get that to like 85, um, you are going to be missing out on a few other bits and pieces to make this card kind of usable. I wouldn't say that he's that usable, um, to be honest, compared to some other cards, most notably because of his offensive awareness and lack thereof. Because if you neglect his shooting and leave it at 80, and put it into dexterity 
you will have 87 offensive awareness and 90 acceleration but that 80 finishing lads is going to cost you a couple of goals so last but not least we have bernardo silva i'm going to do a couple of player training guides on these because they will be lasting for a good while as you can see here um these player packs are going to last for a good while uh with it there's 27 days left in them until they recycle again so we have time to get through all of these players you don't need to make a rash decision but i definitely think that this guy is going to be an ultimate attacking midfielder or else a really good winger. I probably wouldn't train him for a winger because he is missing a couple of uh, bits and pieces with speed, but I do genuinely think that he is a fantastic player to have on your disposal or at your disposal. If you train him well, if you train him fairly accurately, um, 75 speed is more than enough, and then 7 into passing for 83. Now, at that, that card is pretty decent because you've got everything. Passing, shooting, speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina, and of course, curl. If you don't shoot a lot, I would probably cap that at maybe 75 with the 80 um, curl. I'd keep that. And then if you wanted more passing, you could pop that to have 87 low pass. I think 85 low pass is more than enough. And then, of course, you could pop on a little bit more here to dexterity to get 93 balance, which is huge for this card. So that is another card that I would definitely recommend. If I had to make a shotgun decision on these, I would say, depending on your play style, I would say that um, unless you have an epic uh, CMF, I would go for Caicedo or else I would go for Nuno Mendes. I think that no matter what, you will find a role for them in your squad because they're excellent, excellent cards. Bernardo Silva is kind of a luxury item if you're spinning for uh, or spending your five star nominating on him. I definitely recommend him and I do recommend the two three stars as well. If you guys are looking for that, um, that is something to keep in mind. Sanchez is not bad for a four-star either as Martinez. Um, but yeah, I would probably pick, if it was me, Nuno. I think unless you have a top-class left back, he will be insane for you in a 3-5-2 where you can cross ball in, especially if you've got a target man in the box. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.